This is part two of modeling and texturing a juice carton. Uh, we're going to finish up here with the UV map where we left off and then create the lid and do a final render. Okay, so we have this polygon edge here uh, that, that is connected to some other pieces and really uh, just needs to be solid orange, right? We're not really concerned with any detail on it at this point. Normally juice cartons like a real orange juice or a melt carton are not going to have anything there anyway. So what we're going to do is go up to Tools, and we're going to say Break. It disconnects it from the rest of the geometry, and we can just simply move it up here. And I'm just going to scale it down and just put it in the orange. And voila, it's orange. We can also uh, take the edges here. just by control clicking each one right and we can move these over If I hold shift, it'll constrain it so that I, I can't just move it a little bit to the left. It's either all left or all straight down. So this allows me, I can line it up. I'll go right there at the top of that. All right, and then we can take this line here. Move it up about right there. And we can also do the same thing with points, if need be. So I could, I could select these points and just move them over. So we have a cool tool here as well called Target Weld. And all you have to do is click it on, and it's this bullseye icon over here in the right menu, and it automatically will weld. So you see how I have this selected one is red, and the one that it should be attached to is blue. So that's letting me know, like, in the geometry, if I go down, this edge would be right right there. So it's letting me know these are supposed to be connected. So I can drag it over, I get this white lock icon, and it snaps it in. So now they're connected. So I could do the same thing with this one here. So this one's kind of backwards. So let's look at our juice box here. If we rotate this, we can read it. Oh, can't read it. It's backwards. So what we can do, let's go to polygon. See, is everything backwards? Yep, everything is backwards. So we would control click these other polygons and we are going to go to tools flip horizontally bam there you go now it is readable and it's correct we could then go in weld these points together Now let's say, okay, turn off welding. Let's say I, I want to line these up correctly, so you know, I move these up and I get them to where I want them. And then this is lopsided. And say I wanted these to be a straight line all the way across. So what I can do is I can select these points 
all these four points, and we have some align tools over here. Align horizontally. So this icon tells me that line across there, it's going to align them. Bam, there we go, it's aligned. I do that for these points right there. Align them. Makes them perfectly straight. So if I jack this one all up on accident, I can just select these two and hit align. And it's back to being perfectly aligned. So I could, I could drag this in right here. Now this whole edge here needs to be aligned straight. It needs to be a straight line, right? So I can then go over here, align vertically, and it aligns them. Then I can hold shift, and it locks it to be perfect movements left and right, unless if you go too far down. Right, but I can move it over. Zoom in. Just get it on the edge there. And I would just continue to do that until I've got everything lined up and matched up. We'll do one last thing before we do the lid. So this one here um, is not is not actually correct. Uh, we, we do want this piece uh, to be really thin just like this, uh, but this piece here is not showing up correctly. So there's another another tool we can use here, and that is if we select, let's see, actually let's just, oh, we can select just one. Okay, so we're gonna move this over just like so. That way we're unfolding it, and now the leaf is is displaying uh, correctly across there. And, and we could make it show up better. We could force it just by moving this this up if we wanted. Um, we could, you know, see what these look like. So I want that as high as we can go. And there we go. Now at least we've got the leaves looking pretty nice, like they're coming across there. Nice and smooth. So this piece and this piece we can select. Just hit planner, and there they are. Turn off planner, and I'm just going to go to points and Drag these in. See, we just want to weld. Oops. Just want to weld uh, these together so it's one perfect strand. So, open my UV editor so we can tell. Okay, this point needs to be welded, so I turn on target weld right here. At this point, target welded right here. And I'll then weld this to that one. Pull this over. There's our nice edge. We can actually weld these together right there. All right, same thing for here. So this one highlights in blue, so I drag it over, welds it. This one, drag it over to the blue dot, weld it, and it's done. Hold it over here, so over here, bam. So now you can see if I select these, if I select uh, these specific polygons, it highlights them. So there's that edge right there. If I select this edge very carefully, there's that edge right there. So, and this is the fold on the inside, right? See, we see the inside. There we go. So I would do that to the other side, you know, line up all my points, weld all my points so it's nice and even. Once you're, you're done with all that, uh, we would collapse this. When you collapse it, it, it bakes the UVs in so they're, they're there and they're good to go. We're not going to lose any information. So let's go ahead and create the cap. So what I'm going to do is go to cylinder, in the create menu, here's the cylinder. Drag out a circle 
and go up and I'm going to do no high segments and I'm going to do 36 sides. Now this is uh, kind of big for a cap so let's decrease the radius. I'm thinking it's a little tall too so let's change the height just a little bit. And there we go and I do want on the cap segments add one segment so when we smooth this it'll look correct. We go to our edit menu let's change it to edit poly. We can go ahead and name this lid so we know it's our lid and we're going to select one edge here on the side and we're going to hit ring. We're going to connect that by hitting the connect option box. We're going to do two edges and we're going to pinch those out. And actually I think we need to inset first so let's exit this out. I'm sorry. So we'll go ahead and we'll go to the polygon and click one, shift, select the one next to it, selects the ring. We'll do inset we got to change the grouping to be by polygon. Uh, so this, we need just a little bit of an edge. So right there is pretty good. We got 0 0.34. I could change it to 0.35 just because. But that's good. Then we're going to go back to our edges. Uh, and we're going to need to actually let's go ahead and extrude these out as well so we'll hit the extrude options box and we're just gonna have just a little bit of an extrude so looks like point whoops I clicked off of it so let me go back into the extrude menu. Here we go. 0.4. Check that. Now we go to our edges. We're going to hit ring again so it selects the whole ring of edges. Now we're going to do connect and we're going to have it pinch. The reason being is this is going to help make it look nice and smooth like a real bottle cap. So we check that. There's our geometry for the bottle. We'll turn off the edge selection mode. We're going to go to the modifier stack and select mesh smooth. So I hit M so I can look for the M's. Here we go, mesh smooth right here. Select mesh smooth. Uh, turn off um, F4 so we can see it. Uh, so we have a kind of a nice ripple lid going on. Um, kind of looking a little weird on the top. Um, so I can fix that pretty easily. F4. I'm going to select these edges here and I'm going to do connect again. Only one edge, uh, no pinching, but I'm going to slide it out to the edge here. Check that. Turn off edge selection. Go back up to mesh smooth and I can hit F4 and we have a nice lid go to our views here, select the lid object, we're just going to put it up in here, center it. I could hit F4 and F3 in these views to get, uh, if I want to get off wireframe because it's currently wireframe. And then I'm going to simply rotate this. Now I have snapping by angle which allows me to rotate a uh, perfect five degrees. So looking in my left view here, I can get the correct angle on. And there's the bell for success. We have finished the juice carton. Um, we could scale this lid to make it fit better and look uh, pretty in here. We can simply click the render button